Greetings and welcome to this new episode of our Icelandic saga here on CK3. In the previous episode we took care of the succession because now we have uh, a third ruler taking control over our territories and uh, with him we are going to focus a lot on learning even though his, um, let's say, considering his base stats it was not really the most inclined for learning. Uh, but we really have to focus on him anyway, because uh, our next achievement, our next goal is the Fate Reformation. And so in order to reform the Asatru Fate, we need to have a lot of piety. And so we have to push King Ottar into the learning path. And we also help him uh, with a wife who already has uh, good stats and is also an intelligent woman. So let's see how this uh, will work out. Uh, coming to the internal... Um, management of our kingdom it seems that for the moment our vassal are more or less under control so i would say that the succession was and at least until this point um smooth but let's see how now uh, we will progress because now that i will unpause we will really have our first years of uh, um, ruling with uh, the new king Let's also take a look at the notification. Uh, okay, powerful vassal, I can declare war. Above domain limit, yes I know. And we are back from the pilgrimage. Very good. I think we have a position. Yes. Let's take a look at the guest. Here we have uh, a Asatru Norse with 17 prowess cost 16 units of gold to bring him to our court but I think it could be useful, he has good stats so let's do it and then we have this Sif who is uh, Zelus she has poor stats to be honest and uh, she's a low born and also with a few chances of having kids I'm, I'm not really sure what will be the point on inviting her to our court so for the moment let's not do it, let's just check the roles of the different guys sitting at the council so we have the possibility here to convert one land north riding 12 years left honestly because i've given this territory to another vassal i would rather focus on converting my own territory and actually all my domains seem to be of a satru fate okay then we can instead focus on uh, religious relations as you can see our priest is still not a big fan of us but we have already started the sway on him and as soon as we will complete the sway on him then we will also sway my sister who is also my player here because uh, she was recently fired from the yeah fire from council minus 20 she was previously my spy master and i'm afraid she might plot against me to then uh, sit on the throne as she is uh, the next one in succession. So let's try to straighten the relationship there The chancellor role, let's leave on domestic affair now that we have a fair amount of um, vassals to take control of and um, For the steward, I think we are still not at 10 in our capital. So Nine, okay, so for the moment, let's keep the steward on the development of our county and uh, increase control eight years in Hoopland makes sense because this is still a county that directly uh, belongs to us so let's make sure that it's fully under control and the spy master let's leave on this rough scheme okay everything is set correctly i think that we could actually already start farming piety and to do that let me take a look is there any catholic ruler that could be convenient. Okay, this is a Satru Norse. A Satru Norse. So actually, Ireland is already significantly Norse, <laughs> I will say. No, I think we should instead attack somebody in this area. But I think they are all too big at the moment. Well, not really. I think this is the right time to probably conquer this duchy, which will be good because then we this uh, county here, so that we can con to complete the duchy that already belongs to us. So let's do it immediately. I think it's the right time. Conquer county, and we need this one exactly. 
costs 75 of prestige, but we have. Let's do it. That's fine. And then we can uh, basically move the rally point to even here, raise whole armies, and we can go straight to their capital down here. And let's see how it goes. In theory, it should be an easy war because they have very small armies, even if uh, with very good soldiers, and uh, unless they create some alliances, but I hope this is not going to be the case. Uh, they're moving away. Ah, no, these are raiders. Fine. This will be the first war of our units. Ah. And it seems that here we are already engaging. Very good. Very good. So this is the very first war of our new king. All units have a commander, so very good. Power of Heroic Sagas. Let's take a look at this. I think I should go with Ferocity. We are Norse after all. Cynical, Compassionate, Content. Or maybe Courage. Let's go with Courage. Yeah, 100 piety. Very good. Now, with all our armies, let's move here and let's start the siege of their capital. How long will it take? Six months. By the way, the fact also that we are focusing on learning is uh, convenient because we also need to unlock as many inno innovation we can um, from the Norse culture because for the moment we are the cultural head of the Norse, so it's good. And in the meantime I got a daughter from my wife, it's the first child and she's intelligent. This is what happens also last time. We had, first of all, daughters inheriting the very good traits. I really hope we can get a son with good traits. But it's okay. I will say that Auslag is a good name. Let's go. After we complete the siege, we can try to attack them here. Or we can try to in attack these other units. And then... Ah, they're attacking us there. Ah, but there is no need, because we have already captured their leader. And so, we have the chance. Yes, and now we can also create a hybrid culture, it's true. So I think it was a very good point to conquer this territory. My glory in the meantime is widely known. Also piety went up. Can we actually continue expanding? This is big with alliances. This is doable, but she has alliances. now. An easy target, who could be an easy target? They're kind of compact, unfortunately. We have to wait for them to be dismembered. Okay, we have completed this way in the meantime on our priest, which means that now he will endorse us. So one problem less. I could take concubines, but I don't want to do it. Just let me check if there is anyone with uh, good traits. Apparently not. We could raid actually, I was thinking. We could raid. Let's raid these territories here fine for me just to pass our time increase prestige and maybe capture nice people 
interesting people. So let's take a look here how it is. This can be rated, for example. It's a good. I oh, know it was already rated. Also down here. What about these territories? 0, 7, 10, 28. Okay, let's go here. And then here. Let's speed up the process. I think it's good, always good to farm gold and prestige. As a tribal ruler, we really need prestige. As a tribal ruler, piety is the priori priority only when there is this problem of the fate reformation. But apart from that, I would still say that prestige is the most important currency, uh, followed, of course, by gold. I think we need to hire also um, an antiquarian because we start having a lot of uh, card, um, not card artifact, of personal artifacts. So let's hire an antiquarian. They all have poor, poor aptitude, opinion of you, Gurli. She's also my best friend. I don't really know what it is needed to be a good antiquarian. Let's try with Gurli. No, let's try with Gurli. Okay, we've also captured an important prisoner in the siege. Now we will decide what to do with them. So they will not pay a lot of money because they are broke as fuck. And if I kill them I gain dread and piety. Which means that all the ones that I don't want I execute. Starting also from the prince. Execute. And this lady here who already hates me now because I killed his husband, her husband. Uh, she will not pay, right? Because she has, she is broke. We will convert, demand conversion, and recruit. Bam! <laughs> what a lovely person I am. You can hate me as much as you want, but now you are in a satru, and you are at my court. I could even make her my concubine if I wanted to. No, I'm not so evil, <laughs> but it's uh, it's good. It's good because in this way we manage to increase our piety even more with some executions. Prowess knight of knight effectiveness. Now let's wear this. Okay, twenty four of prowess. Very good. Very good, and we have also even more champion effectiveness, 304%, my god, we are scary. And I think here we have completed already the siege, right? Yes. So we could go here, 7, 5, 10, let's raid them all. Actually we can split, in theory, to be faster. Poor Ulster, we have weakened them significantly. Now they have this little boy who is ruling. And they're broke as fuck. Very good. And now we can move to another territory. I think this one is also somewhere we could attack let's move our armies here and then this one mm, this is already kind of bigger so it's not that convenient this one instead it's weak enough so we can move these other here and here as well okay we've taken another prisoner 
and then in theory we could move here right yes let's move this here and then we could uh, yeah let's also move this somewhere else seven and let's take a look at the prisoners so in the dungeon this is a satru finish so it makes no sense she's old but let's recruit her and this is another satru norse makes no sense but they will pay okay then give us the gold very good So raid as always Desmond. It's always a good idea to raid Desmond. I always enjoy it. Let's do it. Actually, first we could go here. Bam! Another learning perk. Let's focus on this one. Six, nine, okay. Very nice. Here we can focus on. Now let's move this back to our territories because they want to chase us. So let's directly leave and bring this money back. And instead, we will continue raid with this 2500. Let's try not to lose control, let's just take 20 units of gold, is more than sufficient. They want to pay for a prisoner, they will pay 50, I can accept that. But then... I don't have any other prisoners, okay. Then we can move here for the last raid. Prisoner taken in the siege, okay. We have 99 units of gold. This is the last trade. At least the last in Ireland for the moment. Prisoner taken. Very good. Let's move this back home. Let's take care of the people we capture. It's only this little girl. Insular Irish. Uh, here it's difficult to say because I mean she's a little girl we could convert her and bring her to our court it's always good to have girls in our court because we could then use to marry other people but on the other hand if I execute this 50 of piety sorry little girl I didn't want, but as I said, I have to focus on piety first of all. So in the few years of uh, <laughs> ruling, <laughs> our king has already executed three people, including the prince. Raid delivered, raid loot delivered, so we can disband the armies. Let's do it. Now we have 600 units of gold, 1300 piety which is also very good and how is it going here this way on my sister it was successful plus 39 percent so now what we could do let's start to study the sami language sami 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 learn language bam will take approximately six years and let's also take a look at the council okay two years left but I think it's fine I think we should have 10 as the level of development of our capital very good very good and this means that now we can move our vassal to 
promote cultural acceptance. Buff. Because later on we will try to make an hybrid of the Sami culture with our culture, the Norse culture. They have winter warriors, forest wardens, adaptive skirmishers, and they have a number of innovation already unlocked, which will be on top of what we have already. So it could really help us. Our Norse culture. No, well, actually, we are more advanced, but at least we could progress with the Onager. After nine years, at first I will complete here the Casus Belli, but then I would like to move to. Well, city planning also is nice. I would like to move to the Onager because I think we really need to decrease the time for a siege. We are a little bit struggling there. And maybe what we could do, we could continue our raids. But this time we move them over here. And we start raiding all the territories here in Sweden. And Sweden is already struggling with the control of their territories. And they are very close. And this will cost us, I think, maybe some piety or not. No, probably not. Should be fine for the moment. And we could get additional knights in this way. In all of this, my little daughter became bossy. Very good. Okay, this is completed. Let's go there. And Kazaria is expanding, by the way. They are taking advantage of the fact that Sweden is having some problems. Ah, this soldier want to approach us. Please do it. We will destroy you. It will be our pleasure. And in fact, they get smashed. Prisoner taken in the siege. Let's also go there. Let's stop them from freeing the territories and let's siege also this other territory. And I can upgrade my dynasty. Let's do it. Another legacy from the blood path. In the meantime, let's take care of this prisoner. Will they pay? No. Let's hold 58, but it's fine. Let's recruit. completed let's crush these people I know okay we intercepted them we are really obstaculating Sweden I really don't know why we're doing that but it's fun it's a lot of fun And where else we could go? This was raided. Um, in theory here, but there are already more units. I'm not sure if it's convenient. Here only three units of gold. Okay, let's go back to our territories to re-deliver the loot. That's the supplier flow anyway. Oh no, my wife was pregnant and she has lost the child. Poor little girl. Every culture formed. Another one too. Okay, we delivered the loot. For the moment, let's disband the army. And yeah, I would like to make a little sway on the queen because we have only plus 19 and I would like to improve the relationship. But on the other hand, there is no point in doing that. Okay. So now we have 700 units of gold. I think we cannot improve farther our territories here. Can we? 
actually we could so let's do it let's try to reinvest a little bit of gold here we cannot do much here we can do this and on the capital i think we cannot do much exactly but okay at least we can improve the territory there Vassal, correct. Uh, I could also try to improve uh, this territory here, but I'm a little bit afraid of doing that. Because I don't know if in the long run I will really keep this territory. So I don't know if I should really improve it. For the moment, let's not do it. Yeah, but it's fine. Okay, and then I will say that for today, this is it, guys. Uh, we already made big improvement. We almost doubled, basically, the amount of uh, piety that we had at the beginning of this episode. And we also started collecting the first perk for the theology focus. Of course, our target, initial target will be profit because it will decrease the cost of uh, faith reformation so we are basically three perk away from reducing significantly the cost of faith reformation and after we do that then we will be in the position of already reforming the faith by the way for today that's it so guys i hope to see you in the next video and if this is the case yes see you in the next episode of our icelandic saga cheers guys <laughs>